I'm going to put you back on mute so there's no uh, noise in the background. It looks like you already did it, Yura. Good, Yura. I'm 23 years old. Yeah, bro. I have a problem I really want to solve. When in conflict with someone, either my legs and voice or whole body starts to shake and I just can't react properly. It feels like a uh, opponent took all of my energy and I will lose all my freedom. Yeah. Some people pee themselves. Did you know that? At least you don't pee yourself. That is related to my father who was really aggressive when I was younger and it really sucks. Yeah, so it's a learned response. I just succumb and react poorly or not at all. Yep, you freeze. Plus I try to hide the shaking, fear and trauma so no one can see it because I would become embarrassed. I understand that it's slowing me down and releasing the trauma, but I really don't want anyone to see or know about it. I'm completely different in fighting someone who is rational during the fight, but we all tend to do dumb shit when we are emotionally driven. And I notice when someone is more emotional uh, than rational during the fight, that's when I see the danger. That's when I fall apart. So other people, their energy, you're absorbing, you're taking on their emotions. Even if I'm watching videos of people fighting with no rules, just when two women are hitting each other, like there's no tomorrow, that's when I start feeling really nervous and psychotic, and that's when I want to kill them. Yeah, that's what radical people, communists, Nazis, and leftists would do, right? If you do anything that triggers them emotionally, everything that they do is search and destroy. That is wrong reaction. I don't want to succumb because of trauma and I don't want to react out of trauma. I just want to heal. I want this problem solved. Please help me. So, Yure, Jure, the first thing that I recognize is this permeability. What does permeability mean? Something that's permeable has holes in it, right? So if I'm wearing, if I'm wearing armor, but it has holes in it, so that arrows could go into me, that's not good armor, right? Good armor is locked up. Permeability or permeable would mean, whoa, stuff is getting in. There's a, there's a level of permeability that other people's emotions have on you, meaning you're letting other people's angst, anger, emotion, reactions, even the fighting on TV come into you. <laughs> you're... And, in a way, that's a form of possession. In, another, in a way, you lose control of yourself and that person, they, that spirit, if you will, jumps into you because you have no protection against it. You have no protection. And as you are alluding to, it's not a physical thing. It's a metaphysical thing. What do I mean by metaphysical? Meaning next to physical. It's not exactly physical. It's metaphysical because it's a person's energy. It's their emotion. It's the spirit. Even with the fighting on TV, you watch it, it's the spirit of that fight that comes into you. So you need protection. Because it's metaphysical, you need metaphysical protection but you feel it physically, so you also need physical protection. Let's start with the metaphysical, the metaphysical protection. First, it's good that you recognize it. It's good that you recognize that it is not of you, it doesn't belong to you. So you have to ask for metaphysical help. Ask God to protect you. Ask God to put armor on you when you're going into this, into this situation. Here's, here is a gesture that Christians do. You know, you can do it if you want to, you don't have to. But it was designed as a form of armor in many ways. What did I just do? I just crossed myself. They say that crossing yourself. Boom. You do that. I literally just put up I was a physical symbol of representing the protection over my heart. Lord, protect me. Protect me in this moment. You ever see, like they would do it, like if you watch cartoons or like, you know, movies, like they make it like a joke, comedians, you know, like something crazy, something's about to happen or they're about to like 
do something scary, they go like this. I remember watching cartoons when I was a kid, and they, they didn't make a mockery of it. They would just go like this, <laughs> right? Like, you would be scared doing that. Why? Because that is a form of asking the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost to be with you. Protect me in this moment. And you're literally crossing your heart. When I was into the occult, when I was into New Age stuff, uh, and energies and chakras and shit like that, they had a similar one. It was very similar. It was this. When you go into a situation and, there was, and there's an energy that you know can, and especially if you know yourself to be permeable. By the way, in character structure, you would probably be characterized as a schizoid. You would do this. You would take your fingers, put to your belly button, and zip up to your chin. They would say, do this. Why? Why do, and they would say, you could even say, make a sound. Zip. It's, a, it's, a, it's sort of a physical movement that represents a metaphysical protection. You're asking, in this case, if it's a cult, you're probably asking a demon, <laughs> a fallen angel, to protect you. Mm, protect me. Lord, protect me. You're going into this situation. Look at what exorcists do. Look into exorcism. There's a really good exorcist on YouTube by the name of Father Chad Ripperger. There's all kinds of protection that he uses before he goes into situations where there are spirits that might want to retaliate against him. That's metaphysical. And I have to acknowledge that. I have to say that. I have to share that. That's metaphysical. It's worth considering. Asking God for help, protecting yourself. So like Catholics, this is another reason why I love being Catholic. Catholic Catholics have uh, what you call sacramentals. This is a sacramental. I didn't mention this one before. This is a sacramental. This is a, they call it a miraculous medal. You wear this. You can wear a, a brown scapula. You can use holy water. There's different things that you can use. They're called sacramentals to protect you. Um, I have a lot of Muslim friends, lots of Muslim friends. One of them gave me a ring that is pr to protect from the evil eye, he told me. <laughs> he said, put in this ring to protect you from the evil eye. I said, okay, all right. I don't, I don't wear it, but I understand what he's, where he's coming from. I was like, yeah, no doubt. Right? It's religious. Protection. Protect yourself. You have to be in a state of grace. You have to have a relationship with God, and you have to believe. Otherwise, you're just playing around. Physical, physical, uh, you got to start becoming aware of your breathing. Two things, become aware of your breathing and feel, feel your feet on the ground. That'll probably be the first thing. Bend your knees slightly, get a little, so that when you bend your knees, you enliven the nervous nerves in your legs. Again, I'm basically saying you got to ground yourself. Bend your knees slightly, feel your feet on the ground. Just bring your attention to your feet. And start to breathe. Because the first thing you're gonna notice when you start shaking is that you're not breathing. It's a reaction, you talked about your father, you probably picked, it's a habit. You picked it up when your father would freak out when you were a kid. You would start, you start hyperventilating. You got to catch yourself and you got to stop it. The minute you start recognizing that person is coming, that energy is starting to rise in that person, stop. Take a few deep breaths. This is another one you would see in the cartoons. You, like a guy would be getting like angry and then he would, he would start breathing and you, you would count to 10. You would see like the red that will come up to the top of his head because he's red. That means he's mad. And then the red will start. It means he's calming back down. He's coming back down. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. But all, that only happens...
to breathe. So I hope that's helpful, my friend. I hope that's helpful. You got to consider the metaphysical and the physical. Protect yourself, knowing you're going into these situations. Even, I mean, you can make up your own. You know, there's, there's people that, you know, you put your hand on your heart to protect you. Like, literally, I'm just putting up a shield. Like, nope, you ain't getting inside me. Mm -mm. Right? You can cross yourself. Think you're putting on the armor of God. Putting on the armor of God. Put on my breastplate. You can wear sacramentals. You can simply ask the Lord to protect you in that moment. Say, dear God, have mercy on my poor old wicked soul in this moment. My mother used to say it all the time. My mother's funny because she's Catholic, but she's not. <laughs> and, but she used to always say, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on my poor old wicked soul. Have mercy on me. I even talked to you guys about the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me in this moment. Have mercy on me. St. Padre Pio and the fathers of the early church, they, they would use little prayers as, and they would call it bullets. Shooting bullets at the demons. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Bow. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Bow. Right? So you can do those things. You can do all those things. Physical to metaphysical. And back again. And that's that. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation coaching students, where among many things, we get together about four or five hours a week where we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. And if you want to join a like-minded group of men that get together every day to grow stronger in every way during this degenerate age it's real simple just follow me on instagram and then dm me the word king k-i-n-g and then me or one of my teammates will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us i really hope to see you perhaps at our next live call done